Hello, friends. So I'm here with the man, the legend, Edward Garcia the third from San Antonio, Texas. Edward, That's you right. saw fantastic results in phase one of Hotel Fit. You've lost 30 pounds. You dropped four uh, sizes on your jeans, like from 38 to 34. That was really awesome. Edward, thank you so yeah. much for joining me today. Before we start um, talking about like your progress and, um, and for everyone who doesn't know you yet around here, do you want to go ahead and quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, so um, like you mentioned, the one and only Edward Garcia III. I am the third, so I guess there's, <laughs> there's three of us, but it is what it is, right? Um, yeah, I'm from San Antonio, um, chef, owner of Box Street All Day here in San Antonio, downtown at Hemisphere. So come visit us, yeah. Awesome, man. Come Edward, before, um, before you started out in the program, like actually before you even heard about the program, what kind of issues were you going through? Like, what were you struggling with? Um, mainly, you know, they say you, the six pack, a uh, six pack is made in the kitchen. You know what I mean? So it was more that the nutrition part and all the things that I thought I was doing right per se, like, you know, waking up, there's nothing wrong with waking up and eating, right? It's just depending on how much or whatever. So it was also like waking up protein shake, okay. this, that, or the other, you know, and I was just, I was never at a caloric deficit per se whatever because i was just like making sure i got my protein in this out of the other so i just wasn't i wasn't doing my nutrition part right you know what i mean also not following a a schedule at the gym i would go and just see what was going on so i couldn't track my progress in that way either so mm -hmm. you know so i think it was mainly that learning that knowledge right there'll be times where i would get home and i'm like dang i haven't eaten dinner but I wasn't hungry. I would just like, because it was dinner time, then I would just eat dinner. So, you know, those things, you yeah. know, not, not snacking or getting those, getting those high protein and veggies in at the time that I needed to worked out versus just, just having those, you know, those items when I actually didn't have to, you know, a hundred percent. So you were an athlete in the past and I think you were in the military, right? Since I remember correctly. Absolutely. Yeah, I was, okay, I was a so, firefighter in the in the Marine Corps. Okay, so as I recall, you kind of had an understanding about training. You knew how to lift weights, and you were kind of going sometimes, yeah. just not consistently, because you needed a little bit of accountability and also, you know, the nutrition side of things. You needed some help, so that's what you were struggling with. Was there like any particular moment in time where you said, "Okay, like I really need help with this. Can't do it on my own. Let's uh, look for coaching." Um, no, absolutely. And it's something that I have been thinking about as well for a while. And, um, you know, so when, you know, when you reached out, I was like, all right, cool. I think this is, in a sense, my my sign and my time. And, you know, that's when it, it all just worked out because I was really thinking about it a lot. And I was going through, you know, things on my own, like I stopped drinking and was trying to eat better and things like that. So, the way that it all came together, it kind of all fell, you know, in perfect pieces, like when you beat Tetris, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. It was the right time. Yeah. And you, you heard about Absolutely. Hotel Fit through, was it about Polly or uh, was it through Polly or James? Um, I, I saw them doing something. I think James posts a lot because he posts a lot about everything. And, yeah. you know, <laughs> I love, love that guy. I don't think po uh, Polly posts as much, but definitely, you you know, I will see them at events or see them out in the bar, and I definitely, definitely could see the difference. So that for me was a proof positive that that whatever program they were doing worked. You know what I mean? So, um, I mean, I I you know, like I said, the proof is in the pudding, and and yeah. they were pudding at once. We were all pudding at once. <laughs> a, lot, a lot better. A hundred percent, man. Fantastic. And uh, what were like, what were all your results? So we know that you, you've dropped about 30 pounds. You've dropped some sizes in your trousers. Uh, I remember yeah. like one, one time you told me that your hairdresser, I think he was the first one to notice that you had lost weight. That yeah. Was funny. Yeah. I mean, ev everyone, you know, after a while, I, I work so much that I tend not to see people every, you know, but, uh, maybe every couple months or every few weeks or whatever. So, you know, through the process, everyone's like, damn, how much more weight are you losing? How much is this? How much, you know what I mean? So, um, and then obviously I, I, 
I see my jeans and my shirts and everything, just even my socks, uh, but not my socks, even though I did buy new socks, but no, but it was just, I had to buy new everything. And that's, I was looking like, uh, like I was just swimming in my clothes and even my, even, even through the process of the program, my skinny shirts are now like my really big shirts right now. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that was, uh, that makes you, that makes me feel good. That makes me want to continue and go harder. And obviously the compliments from everybody, you know, feel good. And I feel really great about my, about myself, super proud of myself. Um, also doing yoga for so long and, you know, not, not thinking that I wasn't strong enough, but not at this point carrying a, you know, not carrying those extra 40 pounds and those yoga movements are a lot easier now. So that gets me really excited. I'm like, oh shit, like, let's see what else, what up, what other poses or what not that I can do now, you know what I mean? I'm still getting stronger. So that's super exciting yeah. for me. That's awesome. Sure. Because like, when you think about it, you know, 30 pounds, like the number, it doesn't seem that much. But then when you see like the micro yes. changes and the things that you were doing that you couldn't do before, and also, you know, yeah. the period of time that was, you know, only 16 weeks. So that's, that's really, yeah. really awesome. Apart from the physical changes, what else did you experience in terms of, you know, your energy, your changes in terms of like your, your daily routines and dynamics? What else did you experience? Um, I think, yeah, I mean, and energy is definitely one of them. And um, what do you call it? I don't know. I, it just, I just, you just feel good about yourself and that, you know, once, one thing starts changing in that positive motion, you know what I mean? Then everything else starts feeling good. And you almost just start seeing like that, that positive aspect in like, like in your life or whatever. But I mean, I don't know, sleeping better, you know, um, sleeping better, but not needing as much sleep, if that makes sense. Cause I don't know, you just feel good. You know what I mean? So you're not, you're not trying to go to bed or sleep because you're, you're aching because of, the weight or whatever that you know what I mean like because you're tired in that way you're you know you might be achy of because you hit a PR that that week or whatever you know on on lifting so I don't know there's just those those small things but definitely energy was a, was and still is you know I I do feel um years younger you know so yeah. great stuff man would you say like the the things that you've learned throughout the program and the progress that you had allowed you to now have something that you can sustain for the long term? Absolutely. I mean, um, you know, it's like, it's, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm still doing it. And it's, and it's, it's been at least a month or maybe even two at this point. Right. So um, yeah, it's, I mean, you have all the tools that you teach us. And then from there, we just, you know, learning, learning them over the 16 weeks and then you could apply those to your everyday life and understanding and then talking to other people that 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 fast and start reading about it even more and more and just seeing how great those benefits are for you and and um you know i'm i i still haven't done a 48 hour fast and you know i i i would like to challenge myself in in that but uh i'm i'm still a little not that i'm scared i, I don't know i think just in this industry just something I, I got to try something right away and I don't want to be like, well, might as well, you know, so 24 yeah. hours, like I can, I can manage, you know, if, if I stay away or whatever, but yeah, 48 sounds really interesting or whatever. Maybe I got in the woods or something. Right. Um, yeah, man, whenever but, uh, you, you want to do a challenge like that, just hit me up, we'll yeah. schedule a date. We'll, we'll yeah. do it. We'll do it together. Yeah. Nice. Some accountability there. Uh, but yeah. man, I'm just uh, thinking. I'm, you... Oh, the salt intake. You know, you with the salt. I still take those. I like just reading up on that of how we blame salt for a lot of things, but it's the sugars and other processed foods that we eat that actually, you know, screw us in the sense of like we blame salt or whatever. You know, so I'll, I'll, drinking all that water and I, obviously peeing it all out, or whatever. Just knowing that you need some of that salt intake as well. So, yeah, definitely. So for yeah. those watching, this is uh, talking about you know minerals, which is sodium, potassium, and magnesium. 
which are uh, which basically you release them during a fast as you're not taking you're not ingesting any um, nutrients or food so you end up losing minerals and one of the things that we do in a program is to is to recommend that people have some some sodium and and some yeah. some electrolytes to kind of mitigate those effects but dude i, I was just yeah. thinking like if you had to buy new socks as a result of being the program and losing weight, that would be like <laughs> the best testimony <laughs> ever. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be really cool. Uh, maybe Polly, Polly did that. I don't know. I need to ask. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, yeah. dude. So, how about challenges? What would you say was the number one uh, challenge that you had throughout the program? Just seeing that you're not gonna like starve to death. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just that's the you know like when. When at first, I think we started with like a few days of the 16 8 or I'm, I'm not, I, I forget how it goes, but then just like, oh, I don't know, like, how is that going to work? And then it just, now it's like my part of my everyday life to be, you know, the intermittent fasting. It's, I, did, I can't even think, I don't even think twice about it. That's just what it is, you know? So um, I can't wait till I get to the point where the fasting for 24, even 48 hours become more of the part, you know what I mean, of, of my regular life. And I know in the future that that would definitely get there. So I want it to become a norm, just like the 16-8 does, right? Just like the 16-8 feels right now. Because, I mean, it, it really just feels like that's how it should be. I don't go to sleep or, or wake up bloated. I don't do all that stuff. I still eat cake, you know what I mean? Here here and there for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, awesome. but it is a piece of cake. Um, but yeah, so it's nice. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think a lot of people, like, before they start, when they hear about intermittent fasting and, you know, fasting in general, they are scared because they think, oh, I'm going to starve myself. It's going to be horrible. And and I think, yeah. like, it, it ends up being, you know, as you progress, it, it becomes easier and easier. And then you look back yeah. and you're like, oh, that's that was actually not a big deal. It happens, like, yeah. step by step. So, like, maybe you'll get to one day and 40, 48 hours will be, like, nothing to you. So, <laughs> um, yeah, man, cool thing. Um, so, as a, as a chef and business owner, so you, you have some businesses and, and food trucks and et cetera. Like, what would you say is the number one challenge, like, being in the industry and doing all of this, all, all these protocols or, or like in general, with your health, what's the number one challenge? Um, number one challenge was, is that you got to taste a lot. So, you know, you're, you're kind of worried about breaking that fast and yes, you can taste and spit it out or whatever, but that, I don't know, that just feels kind of weird. But I think that is, is one thing is, is, is tasting. And then secondly, I think, a lot of times we're just so tired and we've been cooking all day or whatever. So the um, number one thing is just go get fast, go get fast food, you know, especially here in San Antonio, I mean, land of the tacos, you know, it's just how, how do you just say no to that? Right. Um, what do you call it? But then I, you know, that those are the hardest things is like knowing that you have to taste and then you're just kind of tired. So you just kind of, it's that fucking mentality, like, fuck it, you know? And but I think once you get off that, and even if you do eat at work or when you get off, just kind of, you know, meal planning, which was in a sense difficult for me because I never, you know, I didn't know how my day was ever going to go. I didn't just punch in and out. You know, it's, my day is different every single day. As much as I try to plan and this out of the other, you know, it's some some sometimes those got real difficult. You know, I, I, I do try to plan as much as, as I can still now. But knowing that that can change um, is always in the back of my mind. But yeah, I think just tasting and then the long hours, you know, and not having that fucking mentality is 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 really hard. You know what I mean? And just yeah. actually putting the work, and that's where the work comes in, right? Because you could put in the work to go to the gym, and that's different. But putting in the work and just having that, uh, I mean, that um, I don't know, intestinal fortitude to just be like. I'm not gonna eat that shit right now. Like I'm really trying to help myself. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But even though you have those yeah. hurdles, you you still like managed to do uh, an unbelievable yeah. progress. So really, really awesome. Yeah. What would you say to people that are watching this right now and might be in a position uh, similar to yours before you got started? They are struggling with with their health. They don't have a lot of time. They don't know exactly what to eat and when to eat and how to exercise. What would you say to to those people who are in that position? um give you a call follow what you say and 
it's you don't even got to think everything's in <laughs> you you send everything you know what i mean so that that's pretty cool it's it's really easy in the sense of like the programming it's, it's really easy just you know sending out the workouts you know that's a big thing not having to think of the workouts because it's there keep keeping a tra keeping track and the log is is also really cool you know and it's a lot of things that we know sometimes you know of uh, of what to do but sometimes when you got to check in you know checking in is like a really big thing taking photos you know even now i have a, a a friend and we just sent our pictures of what we're eating and it's not to ridicule or to judge or whatever but that kind of keeps you in check right like hey what are you doing what am i doing what's going on you know what i mean and um so that you kind of rethink of like i'm gonna have to send this motherfucker this picture <laughs> let me make that right decision you know what i mean but so, you know, that's, that, that's, that's nice. But yeah, the program was great. I mean, I would recommend it to everyone and anyone for sure. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, Edward, I'm really happy uh, that you had, you experienced all these changes and progress. I really appreciate that you came here to share a little bit of your story. Disclaimer for everyone watching, Edward Garcia the third is not a paid actor, okay? Um, <laughs> and also, if you guys have any questions, people are watching this live or on the replay, if you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and uh, me and Edward will get back to you, okay? Um, awesome, Edward. Thank you so much again for doing this. Keep me posted on your progress. And um, man, whenever you want to do uh, a longer fast and keep accountable, we can do some kind yeah. of challenge. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm in. Soon I'll, soon I'll be in, definitely. definitely. Awesome, dude. Have a wonderful day. And uh, again, thank All you right. very much. And I'll talk to you yes, soon. Sir. Cheers. Bye, brother. Bye. Bye.